Beauty Geeks and welcome back to my channel. We have an unboxing from Sophie and Toffee. This is from their Disney collection, which they are now doing every other month, right? I believe so. Every other month instead of monthly. And we've got Olaf's Frozen Adventure and I am so hecking excited. I love Frozen. So I don't know if we're getting Elsa's, Anna's, Olaf's, Sven's charms i don't even know i don't even know and we got oh such a cute custom box with the little designs oh my stars i love it i am open to just about anything frozen i am a huge fan Ooh. and this is officially the november disney box so it is march 8th um and i got it yesterday so it is a little late, but I am absolutely team better late than never when it comes to good quality pieces and um, ensuring that everything is the quality that we deserve. And this box is packed. It's got so much going on in it. So we'll jump in. Right on top, we've got a liquid chrome pen. So it is a silver mirror marker. So even cooler than a traditional metallic pen. It's very mirror-y and it is good for models, for accessories, for shoes, for plastic, for stone, for ceramic, for tile, for glass, for metal, um, and for um, stone. So I'll show you here. Let's give Olaf a little shiny shoe. And I just pumped it, so it'll take a second. There we go. Oh, my stars. Check it out. It is a true mirror finish. Um, so go as smooth and slow as possible and then let it dry. And is that amazing? I love the idea of using this for leafing and things like that. It's so fun and it's so reflective. Um, they do say to do your best to leave it undisturbed for 24 hours to dry um, and not to let that ink touch anything. So if you're doing like layers in that silver, make sure it's completely, completely dry before you pour anything on it and definitely before you touch it because otherwise your fingerprint will be imprinted in there. And that then. All right. Um, I did hear that there are some changes since the box has been made, however, so we'll try to roll with that as we go. This is our exclusive mold. It is tiny, tiny set pieces. Can you see that? I think it is best with my shirt. So the tiny houses I am living and dying for. I want to make so many teeny tiny houses. I cannot even explain. And we've got little trees. We have our symbols, trees, mountain. We have Elsa. We have Olaf. We have a little Sven. We have, I believe, Elsa again. Because her crown's one that goes up like that. Um, looks like she's doing magic or handing a book. I think I'll try to find a picture. I can't find it handy. Um, but a pretty thin mold they'll be really beautiful pieces you'll also get to make them um, translucent if you want to which I think is gonna look stunning because they are going to go inside our snow globe so we have a two-part snow globe mold I'm very excited to see how this one works out and I'm doubly excited you can check this out I'll flip it here Can you see that it has proper ridges, so it's not just a set together and glue snow globe. It will properly screw together to make our functioning globe. Perfect two-part mold. Um, really nice, shiny, glossy inside. It's a little dusty, so you might want to give it a rinse with some rubbing alcohol and then just ensure that it dries really, really well before using. Keep it in that dust-free environment. Silicone sticks to things. It's fine. Um, but I'm so hacking excited. I love snow globes and crystal balls, and that is just right up my alley. Next up, we have a fine white glitter. It is 
a mix of I want to say it's iridescent I was gonna say hollow at first but I think it is just iridescent and it is white and silver and it's got some really pretty warm flashes as well as a couple cool flashes I think that's gonna be exactly right for um, adding to our snow I've got other ones I really like for snow too so I think we'll play with that a little bit we have a whole bag of fake snow I've got about 20 grams here and it's so hecking fluffy it's like flocking so rather than the kind that you add water to and it sinks around it is like a plastic flocking material it's so squishy I like that um oh here is our foil it's like a little jar I was like that doesn't look good. looked like a glitter but then didn't look like a glitter um so I thought this was going to be just a plain sheet of foil but it is actually kind of like a star and this one they're calling iridescent but it is that hollow rainbow very very pretty I'm excited to see how they designed to use that one as well as to use it for myself I like that idea um I've made like the the, the globies in um, like skullies and stuff and I like to just gently dye it um, or stain it with some pretty colors I think that's really fun all right we have white or it's clear but they call it white shaker oil and that way your snow globes can be proper shakers it helps them fall slowly it's typically like a polypropylene glycol um or oh and i just totally lost the word if i remember i'll pop it in <laughs> if not and if i forget oh uh, well that's a mystery to us all we've got this cute little super glue it's really neat and it's about eight grams Oh, I did notice that our shaker oil does not have the nozzle with it again. They picture it with the nozzle, but they, they don't have it. Um, however, this guy is a nice fine tip. Um, so overall pretty good. And in comparison to like my typical, I use like the lot site. Um, um, the lot site one that I get is 10 grams. Um, you can also you can get minis and such from the Dollar Tree. I like the container for this. It's not a squishy plastic. It's really quite hard. But I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we got some pigment dyes. These ones are called candy pigment dyes. Um, the picture says silicone pigment, and we were told we were getting purple, pink, blue, and green, which not quite this. We got chartreuse, dark yellow, light cyan, and dark green, which is kind of a nice jade color. A very interesting choice. I'm not quite certain. Um, I luckily have a ton of dye and alcohol inks that I will play with and use for this because I don't think this is quite the mixability that I was looking for. And this chartreuse is always very um, like split pea soup color. <laughs> All right, we've got a UV resin and it is the 25 grams we were told we were going to get. And this one has a really easy to use tip, nice fine tip. And just make sure you screw it on well. It's in a nice dark bottle. It lasts a really long time. And it looks good. I haven't had any issues with their UV resin, I think since the Little Mermaid box. So we're pretty good. And then we have a total of 100 grams, so 50 grams each of epoxy resin. This is the one that you wanna be more careful with. Um, make sure that you're using your proper PPE um, during that mixing stage um, and things like that. Okay. La, 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 la. We're almost done, but there is in fact still more. We've got snowflake confetti. These beautiful, beautiful. Um, I'm stuck between iridescent and, and hollow because there is a nice rainbow flash in them, but I want to say it is iridescent. Um, so we've got a plain white, that is just white, iridescent white, blue, like a lighter blue, a dark green, light green, a yellowy gold, a dark blue, 
like a violet, um, a very red toned purple, a light pink, a dark pink, a red, and a gray, which is looking very black on here, but it's like a dark gray. Um, so our snow globes will have snow, whatever colors we prefer. All right, last but not least, we have bezels and I love the bezels. I love that they are licensed. I love the quality. They're very sturdy and they all have your Disney tag to ensure that you know they are proper legally licensed. So we have Elsa doing magic. We have Olaf smiling, little veil on top so it doesn't have to go through his little noggin. I love that for us. Oh, this one too. That's so fun. Olaf waving. So adorable. We've got a Sven. No bail included, so we'll need to find a good spot for that. Maybe through one of his little horns. We'll see. And then this beautiful one of Anna. We've got a beautiful Anna portrait as well. That's stunning. Definitely not what I was initially expecting when I heard Olaf, but I can totally see trying to get or make some more summertime themed pieces so I can make a summer scene for my little Olaf friend. Otherwise, we can do a lot of really fun um, frozen scenes. We've got some good colors for a frozen scene, and I thought we could use these in a fun way for a summer scene. But I'll be diving into the rest of my stash for that. Um, let's see. General instructions. Please always put your resin containers, not resin itself, in warm water. It makes it easier to flow. The bubbles come out better. Um, wear your protective gear, especially if you are using that one-to-one -one resin. Um, wear gloves. I know I'm terrible about things like this. And why I don't show this. <laughs> Um, you can color the molds. You can add paint to them, the acrylic paint, and make sure it dries all the way. It will pull a bit away from the molds, but do some thin layers and it'll be fine. You can use mica. Sometimes the static will make it go crazy, but it gives it a beautiful shine and it looks really nice. Um, the UV resin is probably the best choice for those skinnier molds. Sometimes epoxy resin doesn't cure properly when it's too thin and it can also be a bit more fragile when it's very very thin like that um but the snow globe definitely oh check this out look at that those cute illustrations um oh let's see did the snow globe have yeah the, so the snow globe does not have these cute little shapes just like so it's just as pictured here um, that would be those shapes that came in that flat mold. So not quite the same dimensions that they're showing here. If we wanted to add some to it, I love the idea of adding more houses to it, but I am a complete fanatic for tiny houses. And that's it for those. So glue your pieces in, flatten them down, add your super glue, tighten it, once it's fully dried, cured, super glue dries really fast, then you can flip it and enjoy. And our community showcase winner is Art After Dark. If you submit your art, whether created with Sochi and Toffee boxes or not, um, you can win a $50 uh, Sophie and Toffee shopping voucher. So enter in their hashtags like so, and you can enter too. So congratulations to them. I love little crystal scullies. That's so fun. And I'm hoping that we get lots of tutorials and things like that. Oh my stars. So it was, you see the little smudge on it? It was not dry. It wants to move and move and move. So he's still shiny, but notice that it turns into more of a true metallic. So they are not kidding about that 24 hours. It is. Um, so these ones are really hard to show you everything that comes in the box because it is legitimately so much stuff in this box. I love it. I'm happy. I am so excited to make some frozen art and get my very own snowy snow globe. That's all I got for you guys. Bye everybody.